Sean Diddy Combs was back in a New York courtroom where he learned his sex trafficking and racketeering trial will begin in May. He's pleaded not guilty to all the charges. Lilia Luciano joins us now. Lilia, what more can you tell us about this case? Hey there, Errol. Well, I'll tell you that yesterday in court, uh, Sean Diddy Combs showed up smiling. Uh, his whole, uh, well, not his whole family, his children, all of his children and his mother who traveled from Florida were there. Uh, oftentimes he would turn around and look at them at the end uh, of the hearing. He was blowing kisses at them and saying thank you. He was comforted by his attorneys. Uh, it was odd to see him smile so much. It seemed like he was optimistic and many of us were wondering whether he would be uh, bailed out. But there is still a bail appeal uh, pending in his case after a judge had rejected a $50 million bail bail package. What you're seeing there are images of his children who showed up uh, to support him. As you said, the uh, trial is now set to begin in May. It, we expect that it's going to take uh, longer than a month, as the prosecution said that they will take around three weeks just to lay out their case. Uh, what we heard from his attorneys also yesterday is um, in part what they're fighting is to get a gag order because they allege that some of the Federal agents who were involved in the case had leaked information to the media. And what they're addressing specifically is that video that you might remember from a hotel room uh, where he is seen uh, attacking uh, Cassie, his ex and singer. That piece of evidence is, of course, going to be crucial and something that everybody, I mean, the public has already laid their eyes on and that the prosecution considers is an essential piece of evidence the defense is saying that because agents allegedly leaked this video to CNN, that there should be a gag order in place. Um, the video is, of course, expected to uh, to be something that the uh, that the jurors will see. But then the prosecution is saying, look, nobody in our prosecutorial team has leaked any information or spoken to the media. On the contrary, it is the defense's team that has been uh, making very concerning statements to media, including an interview that the lead attorney, the defense attorney, made with TMZ, uh, alleging that this case involves racism. And so both sides were yesterday agreeing there's going to be no communication with media. So there is that they are going to abide by uh, the rules of the case where they can't present any evidence to the public or, or um, make any kinds of statements like the ones that have been made. Uh, so yesterday was not so eventful in terms that he wasn't bailed. But uh, we now have a date where the court will where the case will begin. Uh, and the trial will begin. And that's May 5th. Errol. Yeah, and that video was so key, Lilia, because if you remember during the Cassie lawsuit, did he deny he did anything? It was only after that video was released that he himself released a video saying, that's not me, that's a monster, I've changed. And so it was a real changing point in the public's perception. We really appreciate you walking us through that. We know you will have more as this unfolds. Lilia, thank you. Thanks, Errol.